Welcome to Quality Content QC. Get ready for insightful discussions, entertaining reviews, and more. In the heart of Shaoshan, Hunan Province, a child was born on December 26, 1893, who would go on to change the course of history. This child was none other than Mao Zedong, the son of a prosperous peasant farmer. Mao was the third of four children in his family. Despite the relative wealth of his family, his early life was not without its hardships. From a young age, Mao experienced the harsh realities of life in rural China, including arduous manual labor and limited access to education. However, it was during these formative years that Mao's intellectual curiosity began to bloom. He was a voracious reader, devouring everything from Chinese classics to contemporary works. His thirst for knowledge was unquenchable, and his desire to uplift the lives of his fellow countrymen was palpable. At the tender age of 13, he left his family's farm to attend a modern school in Changsha, the provincial capital. It was here that Mao was first introduced to the revolutionary ideas that would later shape his political ideology. During his teenage years, Mao's worldview continued to evolve. He became increasingly aware of the social injustices plaguing his country, particularly the widespread poverty and inequality. This awareness ignited a fire within him, fueling his desire to challenge the status quo and fight for social justice. As he navigated his way through adolescence, Mao began to form a vision for a new China, a nation free from imperialist influence, where every citizen had the right to a decent life. Despite his humble beginnings, Mao was a bright and ambitious young man, eager to make a difference. The experiences of his early life profoundly influenced his political philosophy, laying the foundation for his future role as the leader of the People's Republic of China. Little did he know, he was just at the beginning of a journey that would forever alter the course of history. Mao's journey into politics began in his youth as he became involved in revolutionary movements against the Qing dynasty. As a young man, Mao Zedong's political consciousness was awakened by the turbulent times he lived in. China was in a state of flux, with the Qing dynasty on the brink of collapse and foreign powers vying for control. Mao was deeply moved by the plight of his fellow countrymen and the injustices they suffered under the yoke of imperialism and feudalism. He was particularly drawn to the ideals of social justice and equality, concepts that were in stark contrast to the hierarchical and oppressive society he was born into. His political involvement began with his participation in the May 4th Movement in 1919, a nationwide protest against the Treaty of Versailles, which many Chinese felt betrayed their country's interests. Mao was one of the thousands of students who took to the streets voicing their discontent and calling for political reform. This experience had a profound impact on Mao, shaping his political ideology and fueling his desire to bring about change. He became an ardent believer in Marxism, seeing in it a blueprint for transforming China into a society where the common people held power. He joined the Communist Party of China in its early days, dedicating himself to the cause of revolution. Mao's early activism was not without its trials and tribulations. He faced persecution and hardship, but these challenges only strengthened his resolve. He honed his skills as a leader and strategist, qualities that would prove crucial in his later rise to power. Mao's early political involvement set the stage for his future leadership. He emerged as a champion of the proletariat, a voice for the voiceless, and a symbol of resistance against oppression. His passion for social justice and equality fueled his activism, setting the stage for his future leadership. His vision of a new China, free from foreign domination and social inequality, resonated with millions and laid the foundation for the revolutionary path he would later embark on. Mao's rise to prominence came during the Chinese Civil War, where he emerged as the leader of the Communist Party of China. The war-torn China of the mid-20th century was a complex and volatile stage, setting the scene for a power struggle that would redefine the nation. Amidst this turmoil, Mao Zedong began to rise in prominence. He was not just a figurehead or a symbol. 
He was a strategist and a tactician, using his deep understanding of the Chinese landscape and its people to his advantage. Mao's approach to warfare was unorthodox, yet effective. He championed the concept of people's war, a form of guerrilla warfare that leveraged the support of the peasants, the majority of China's population. Mao believed that the peasants, once armed with the ideology of communism, could become a formidable force. This holistic approach to warfare, combining ideology with military strategy, was a significant factor in his rise to power. But it wasn't just Mao's military strategies that set him apart. He was also a master of alliances. Recognizing the power of unity, he fostered alliances with different factions and forces within China. These alliances, often formed out of convenience and shared objectives, were instrumental in consolidating his power base and expanding the influence of the Communist Party. The culmination of Mao's rise to power came with the conclusion of the Chinese Civil War. After a grueling struggle that lasted for more than a decade, the Communist forces emerged victorious. On October 1, 1949, Mao Zedong stood before a crowd of hundreds of thousands in Tiananmen Square and proclaimed the establishment of the People's Republic of China. Through guerrilla warfare tactics and strategic alliances, Mao led the Communist forces to victory in 1949, establishing the People's Republic of China. This marked not only a personal triumph for Mao, but a turning point in the history of China. From a peasant boy in Hunan to the architect of a new nation, Mao's rise to power is a testament to his strategic brilliance and indomitable will. But as we will see, his leadership would also bring about significant challenges and controversies. As chairman of the Communist Party and de facto leader of China, Mao implemented sweeping reforms and ambitious policies aimed at modernizing the nation and eradicating poverty. Mao's vision for China was grand and transformative. He dreamed of a China that was self-reliant, modern, and equal. To bring this vision to life, he introduced a series of radical policies that would forever change the face of the nation. One of his most significant initiatives was the Great Leap Forward. Launched in 1958, this ambitious plan aimed to rapidly transform China from an agrarian society into an industrial powerhouse. Mao believed that through collectivization and mass mobilization of labor, China could leap ahead of other nations in terms of industrial production. However, the Great Leap Forward was not without its flaws. It failed to consider the practicalities of such a rapid transformation. The forced collectivization of agriculture led to a decline in food production, causing one of the deadliest famines in human history, claiming millions of lives. Following the failure of the Great Leap Forward, Mao launched another ambitious policy, the Cultural Revolution. Beginning in 1966, this decade-long movement aimed to purge China of its old customs, old culture, old habits and old ideas. It was a tumultuous period marked by widespread political persecution, destruction of cultural heritage and social chaos. During the Cultural Revolution, Mao mobilized the youth, known as the Red Guards, who fervently carried out his directives, often with violent zeal. Schools were shut down, intellectuals were persecuted and historical relics were destroyed. The Cultural Revolution left deep scars on Chinese society, the effects of which can still be felt today. But these ambitious initiatives came with devastating consequences, including widespread famine and social upheaval. Despite his grand vision for a new China, Mao's policies often led to suffering on a massive scale. His leadership, while transformative, remains a subject of intense debate and controversy. Throughout his reign, Mao's leadership was marred by rumors and scandals. One of the most significant controversies surrounding Mao Zedong was the allegations of political purges. Mao's rule was characterized by a series of campaigns to eliminate perceived threats within the Communist Party and the broader society. These purges resulted in the imprisonment and death of countless individuals. Many critics argue that these actions were not only ruthless, but also a calculated strategy to consolidate his power. 
In addition to the political purges, human rights abuses were rampant under Mao's regime. His ambitious initiatives, like the Great Leap Forward and the Cultural Revolution, led to widespread famine, social upheaval, and mass violence. It's estimated that tens of millions of people died due to starvation, forced labor, and executions during these periods. These tragic events cast a long shadow over Mao's leadership and continue to be a source of heated debate. Another salient controversy is the accusation of personality cultism. Mao was a charismatic leader who knew how to harness the power of propaganda. He was portrayed as a godlike figure with his image adorning everything from currency to textbooks. This cult of personality was not just about idolizing Mao, but also served as a tool to control the narrative and suppress dissent. Critics argue that this level of adulation was not only undemocratic, but also dangerously unchecked. While these controversies paint a grim picture, it's important to remember that Mao's rule was not entirely defined by these actions. He also implemented sweeping reforms and policies aimed at modernizing the nation and eradicating poverty. He was a visionary leader who transformed China into a global superpower. Despite these controversies, Mao maintained a tight grip on power, shaping the narrative of his legacy. His leadership, for better or worse, left an indelible mark on China and the world. As we delve deeper into his life and legacy, we begin to understand the complexities of his rule and the enduring impact of his vision. Mao Zedong passed away on September 9, 1976, at the age of 82. His death was not just the end of a man, but the conclusion of a monumental chapter in China's history. With his passing, the nation lost its founding father, a man who had steered the country through tumultuous times, for better or worse. Mao's death plunged China into a period of profound uncertainty. The man who had led the nation for nearly three decades was no longer at the helm. Questions arose about the direction the country would take, about who would fill the immense power vacuum Mao had left behind. This period of flux saw power struggles within the Communist Party. Mao's immediate successor, Hua Guofeng, found himself in the precarious position of trying to maintain stability while navigating the choppy waters of political transition. At the same time, the Chinese populace was grappling with the loss of a leader who had been a constant in their lives. For some, Mao was a symbol of national pride and resilience. For others, he was a tyrant whose policies had led to widespread suffering. Regardless of their personal views, all were left to ponder the future of a China without Mao. This period also saw the beginning of the Criticize Lin, Criticize Confucius campaign, an effort by the Communist Party to distance itself from the more radical elements of Mao's policies. It was a time of introspection and re-evaluation as China sought to find its footing in the post-Mao era. Yet, even in death, Mao's influence was palpable the policies he implemented, the ideology he propagated, and the cult of personality he cultivated continue to shape China's political landscape. His image adorned public spaces, his quotes filled textbooks, and his legacy remained a subject of heated debate. His death marked the end of an era and triggered a period of political uncertainty and transition in China. The man was gone but his imprint on the nation was indelible. Mao Zedong, the peasant-turned-leader, the revolutionary, the controversial figurehead, had left a China forever altered by his vision and his actions. Mao's legacy is complex and multifaceted. Just as a prism refracts light into a spectrum of colors, so does the legacy of Mao Zedong refract into a spectrum of perspectives, each unique, each holding its own truth. Opinions about Mao's legacy are as varied as the people who hold them. To some, he is a visionary leader, a man of the people who dared to dream of a modern, powerful China. To these individuals, Mao's policies were necessary, if harsh, steps toward achieving that dream. His efforts to eradicate poverty, modernize the nation, and elevate China on the world stage are celebrated. His success is acknowledged, his failures forgiven or forgotten, yet to others, 
Mao is seen in a harsher light. His rule is remembered as authoritarian, his policies as disastrous, his disregard for individual freedoms as unforgivable. The Great Leap Forward, the Cultural Revolution, these initiatives, aimed at modernizing the nation, resulted in widespread famine and social upheaval. Millions of lives were lost, and the scars of this period still linger in the collective memory of the Chinese people. Beyond the divergent perspectives, there is no denying the lasting impact Mao has had on China. His influence permeates every facet of Chinese life, from the political system to the economic model, from the social fabric to the cultural identity of the nation. Mao's political ideology continues to shape the governance of China, with the Communist Party maintaining a tight grip on power. The economic model he established, a unique blend of socialism and market economics, has propelled China to become the second largest economy in the world. His emphasis on self-reliance and the national pride is deeply ingrained in the Chinese psyche, influencing attitudes and behaviors even today. Mao's influence also endures in more tangible ways. His portrait adorns the Tiananmen Gate and Chinese currency, his quotations are still recited, and his mausoleum, a monumental structure in the heart of Beijing, draws millions of visitors each year. These constant reminders of Mao's presence serve as a testament to his enduring influence. As we reflect on the life and legacy of Mao Zedong, we are reminded of the complexities of history. The story of Mao is not simply one of triumph or tragedy, but a blend of both. It is a story of a man who dared to dream, who dared to challenge the status quo, who dared to lead his nation on a path of transformation. And in doing so, for better or worse, he shaped the destiny of China and left an indelible mark on the world. Love him or loathe him, Mao Zedong will forever be remembered as a pivotal figure in the story of China and the world. His legacy, complex and multifaceted as it is, continues to resonate, continues to influence, and continues to inspire debate and reflection. As the story of Mao unfolds, so too does our understanding of China, its past, its present, and its future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. See you in the next one.